So let's make this bread. First, take your little dish. I sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray, but you can just rub it with a little bit of butter and sprinkle some flour on it if you don't have spray. Next, take your banana. Really and truly, the riper, the better, I promise you. And we're gonna mash it up in a bowl. Now, your dry ingredients. Put your half a cup of flour, your half a teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, half a cup of sugar. Whisk it around. Set that to the side. Now let's brown this butter. You don't have to brown it, you can just melt it, but browning it gives it such a deeper taste, it's fantastic. We're just gonna melt it down, and after it melts, we're gonna keep stirring until it turns brown. That's all brown butter is. See how it's turning brown right there in the center? That's what we're going for. Just keep stirring. And that's brown enough. So this is browned butter. Now remove it from the fire. Okay, we're gonna let the butter cool off just a second while we talk about this next thing. One half of an egg is all you need for the mini loaf. So, how do you do that? Crack your egg and stir it up. One large egg is four tablespoons. So half that is two tablespoons. So stir it up real good. Once you get it stirred up real good, we're gonna dip out two tablespoons of egg and put it in the banana. So now, what do you do with the rest of your egg? Well, you can scramble it, you can throw it out, you can feed it to your dog, he will love it. Or, what I do is, I'm gonna freeze it. See, I've already frozen some. This particular ice tray, I measured the cups in it, they hold one tablespoon. So if I put the egg in these and freeze them, I can pull them out next time I make bread and I don't have to crack a fresh egg. So, the rest of this will go in the ice tray. Now, stir that egg up in your banana. Now we're ready for the brown butter into the banana. And then we're gonna stir that brown butter into our bananas. Now, that will go into our dry mixture right here. And then we'll stir this up. So if you don't like nuts in your banana bread, you're ready to go. You can pour that in your pan and start cooking, but I like the nuts. So now I'm going to take this quarter of a cup, this generous quarter of a cup of pecans, and I'm gonna chop them. Then you'll put your pecans in there and stir that up. Now we're ready to pour this right into our little mini muffin tin pan. You could even make this in a cupcake pan if you don't have a little small loaf pan. Make you a few banana nut muffins. That might be a good idea. Okay, and spread that down. We're gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes, but I always start checking on mine at 30 minutes to see if the top is just golden brown. 